Let's understand what are the differences between a wire and a reg. The two most common structural data types are wire and reg. Both of them have a single bit structure. In the case of a wire, it's essentially describing a connection between two points, or many points. It's a physical connection between multiple blocks. They all can be within a single block as well, and it's like a connector. There are no values getting stored in them and it's just driving. While a register however is, literally a register, an abstraction of a data storage element, like a storage space in the computer. If you have register, and you put something into it, it's there, and it's going to stay there until you change it. So, if one set of code, drives the register, and another set of code, drives that register, the new one overwrites the previous value. But, if you have a wire as a net, then wires are just having drivers to that net, and the actual value on that net or wire, is the result of a combination of whatever drivers are attached to it. So, a wire or a net with no drivers has a value of Z. It's undriven so that C. A wire with one driver, has the value of that driver. A wire with more than one driver, has a result, that's dependent on how those values are connected together. So, whenever you assign something to a wire, you are not defining what is on the wire, you are giving a driver to that wire. No wire itself will make its own mind up, as to what the final value is, based on how many drivers are attached. So, the wire is a real physical connection that externally will be resolved, when there are multiple drivers. Next, when you declare a wire or, a register, you actually declare them inside the module, but outside of any initial or always procedural blocks. Also, the registers have a default value of x, which is unknown, because you don't know, what is there in the register until you put something into it. While, the wires have a default of z. If it has no drivers, then there is no drivers. So, it's undriven or floating.